Those of you who were here last year had the opportunity to see Jim Steiner demonstrate Gorilla Glass. This product has been a huge success for Corning. Gorilla Glass is now featured on more than 600 million devices by 30 major brands. In fact, it's the fastest growing product in the company's history. But we weren't satisfied. We wanted to make it better, and we did. In January, we launched Gorilla Glass 2 at the Consumer Electronics Show. In the video I'm about to show you, you'll see two pieces of our competitor's glass on the left and Gorilla Glass 2 on the right. Each sheet of glass is one millimeter thick. So now let's see what happens when they meet a baseball traveling at 35 miles per hour. I like it. <laughs> Gorilla Glass 2 is 25% tougher than the original Gorilla Glass when manufactured at the same thickness. Or we can make the glass 20% thinner and provide the same legendary toughness as the original Gorilla. Uh, that allows device makers to make smartphones and tablets that are exceptionally slim and lightweight with outstanding damage resistance. So we've shattered one of the biggest myths about glass. <laughs> OK, I'm not going to give up my day job. <clears throat> and prove that we can make it incredibly tough what else can glass do? This is a piece of our ultra slim flexible glass. We can make this glass five times thinner than standard display glass and still provide the exceptional surface quality and performance. Why does this matter? Glass this thin allows us to revolutionize the way display and other devices are manufactured. Because traditional glass is rigid, it has always required a batch process where single sheets of glass are processed one at a time. Ultra slim, flexible glass allows our customers to move to continuous roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing. Let's take a quick look. So with this material, device makers can use the same manufacturing techniques they use for plastic films while providing all the advantages of glass. That includes superior transparency, 100% hermetic sealing, and extreme temperature performance. Those features are very important as the industry looks to introduce high-performance devices with more demanding attributes. Now, this glass also moves us closer to those large-scale, immersive displays that you just saw in our video by enabling electronics-ready surfaces. We plan to commercialize this product later this year, and we expect to see devices made with ultra-sim glass emerge by the beginning of next year. I'll end with a product 
that's in development that brings together Corning's expertise in biochemistry, specialty glass, and surfaces. Now, as I noted earlier, most of the feedback to our videos was positive, uh, but there were also a few jokes, and I sort of thought sort of snarky comments from people who were worried about the germs on those universal displays. Well, we're actually working on something that addresses those issues. Corning is developing a glass that will kill drug-resistant bacteria and viruses. Let me show you how it works. Now, that standard glass on the left and antimicrobial glass on the right. We put fluorescent E. coli bacteria on both. As you can see, the bacteria grow on the normal glass, but are killed on the antimicrobial glass. In fact, in this experiment, our glass killed more than 99% of the bacteria. This product is still in the early stages of development, but it's something we're really excited about. Uh, we're working with customers to understand their requirements, as well as the EPA, to ensure that we meet or exceed their rigorous criteria. Obviously, this glass has tremendous potential in hospitals, but we believe the applications could be even broader. Now, I hope you think this idea is as cool as we think it is. Now, I'll end there, uh, because I think that's a great example of a practical problem that may have seemed insurmountable, yet we're addressing it with highly engineered glass.